hello guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here you are highly welcome thank you so much for stopping by if you do like what you see already please do well to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon so that you are notified whenever i post new videos to my old and returning subscribers thank you guys so much for coming back you guys that love on my first video introduction to my youtube channel was massive and guys that's part of the reasons i'm back here again today thank you so much for the massive love and support i really do appreciate it thank you for coming again to watch another video thank you so so much i know some of you would have been looking out to see um my video that i would have posted on friday but you guys hmm, i couldn't wrap my head around it when i discovered what happened like what i had stored was corrupt you know i'm using my phone so i'm yet to get a camera around it thank you guys so much for stopping by i do appreciate it today we're going to be talking about some signs some signs you know when um someone is sick or when um something is going wrong in the body when there's a kind of sickness going wrong in the body there are some signs and there are some symptoms right that that body shows so we're going to be talking about relationship in this respect now and we're going to be talking about some signs that when you notice you should know that you ought to leave that relationship yes i'm not talking about marriage now because I, for one, I won't encourage divorce unless on the grounds of deceit. Yes, the person was deceived into the marriage and all of that kind of stuff. I won't encourage divorce. I don't encourage it. However, for those that are in a relationship that, you know, they are looking to, you know, settling down together and all of that stuff, I want to tell you some signs based on my personal experience yes when you should leave a relationship when you see the signs some of them because relationships are peculiar you should leave it now i have to put it out there that i do understand that relationships differ okay relationships differ what works in one relationship does not work in the other relationship the formula is very different right and i'm going to be looking down on a piece of paper i wrote i wrote down the points like i even had to list them out some of the reasons why i had to you know leave a relationship when i felt like mm, this wasn't working yes so first of all there's no perfect relationship okay that's one thing you will know so it's not when you experience some kind of um um disagreement or misunderstanding you now be like mm, oh yeah it's time for me to pack my load and start going no 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 that's not how it is done but then there are some critical signs you should look out for whenever you're in a relationship and that's what i'm going to be talking about and um when you notice these things sometimes you don't necessarily have to like pack your load and go and just say i'm done and all that no sometimes all you need to do is just take a little step back look at it closely evaluate the situation and just generally tell yourself the truth is this what i want to settle for if that is it then carry on but if that is not it if you're if you're not convinced after asking yourself the question of a yes answer right then please, by all means, carry your load and go. Mm? So, based on my personal experience, these are some of the points I noted and I had to call it quits. Yes, number one, no peace. You think about this relationship, yes, you love the person and everything, but you don't have peace. You don't have peace of mind. You cannot drink water and keep the cup in peace. You cannot think about it. It, it. it comes to your mind and you're second-guessing yourself. I mean, mm -mm. you really have to take a step back and evaluate it. Like, for me, I had to take a step back and evaluate the situation. And then I was like, I don't think this is what I, I can do. I can't do this. I can't, I can't do this. And I had to, you know, call it quits. Yeah. Another one is when trusted friends 
and family, especially parents. Now, I'm talking about this um, science of living a relationship as a believer, as one that has a relationship with Jesus. That's another dimension to it. And I have to say it out here. So, when trusted friends, not the kind of friends that you tell and they'll be like, eh, yes, show him, show her, give her, give him. All this kind. No, it's not that kind of friend though. <laughs> I am talking about a friend that when the person is telling you the truth, you know that kind of friendship and friend that will tell you the truth. It will prepare you. But you go back, think about it, and make a change. Mm -hmm. That kind of friends. That, those kind of friends. They are the ones I'm talking about here. So when trusted friends tell you the whole truth, not because they want to break your relationship, not because they have anything to gain, not because they want to steal your, your um, husband to be, or your partner, or whatever. That is not their intention. They are just coming from a place of concern. They are coming from a place of sincere concern you know and they tell you girl i i'm not so comfortable with this would you love to like take a break and evaluate the situation and see if you can you know make some adjustments here and there those are the kind of friends i'm talking about most importantly when you have christian parents parents that they hear god they know god for themselves like they hear god they hear him when he speaks yeah and those parents that when they talk you take their words for it not because they're controlling parents not because they want to fulfill their own desires but because you know that their decisions you know counts or their point or whatever they tell you in this issue or in this matter or in this um, decision of settling down when they tell you stuff, it counts, right? That's what I'm talking about. Now, when your parents tell you stuff like, um, it's not like I don't like this person, but there's just something about him. Or there's just something about her. Or mm, can we like give this a little more time? Can we slow down? Do you want to think about it? Uh, in my own case... <laughs> Um, I think you should pray more about this. I think you should pray more about this. You know, that kind of talk. Eh, please double check. Double check. Check your heart. And let me tell you the sincere truth. If you check your heart very well, you will know deep down in your heart. If you are truly a child of God, one that has a relationship with Jesus, God cannot allow you to make a mistake. It's only, we are the ones that used to use our clear eye. When we will be inside water, Omo will see in our eyes. We are the ones that cause the problems for ourselves. So when this scenario like this plays out, and your trusted friends tell you stuff, and your family or your, your parents or even siblings that you trust and you know they have their, your best interest at heart, not because they are selfish or because they are controlling or whatever, but because they love you, when they tell you stuff like this, mm, girl, guy, I think you need to, you know, take a chill pill, set, just settle down, think about it very well, evaluate the situation, and then, yeah, you can now make your decision based on that. Because to be truthful, we are all a product of our choices. So if you choose to continue with that person, fine and good if you still choose to you know relax and evaluate the situation and then you'll be like i can't do this i can't go further then fine and good along the line initially it's going to be so hurtful it's going to be so painful walking away is will be so difficult but you if you truly love god and love yourself you walk away from it and then Many years down the line, you'll be like, oh God, thank you, I made the decision of walking away. Yes. Another point is when you are not comfortable or, you know, let's put it this way. 
when you are not sure of the person's faithfulness to you. Especially this happens when you're in a long distance relationship, right? There's something about being in a long distance relationship and there's that trust. You, you trust the person. You are so sure that nah, nothing is going on wrong. You know, your instincts, everything is clear that everything is fine. But in a situation where you're in a long distance relationship here, and even short distance relationships, for heaven's sake, they are even, you know, some kind of chua chua that some people play. Yes. But then when you're in a relationship and you're just doubting the, this person's faithfulness to you, you know on your own part that you're faithful, you know on your own part that you can't be double dating or just be unfaithful to this person, you know. You know, and you're just there's this there's something you know, you just feel like there's something fishy, like something is not settling in down, like it's something not settling down well in my spirit. And there's this constant conflict in your mind about this person's faithfulness. Girl, guy, take a chill pill. Yeah. It's a pill we have to take. Evaluate it. If you still want to continue, fine and good. But at this point, I really do think you should take a chill pill. And if still, after everything, after evaluating the situation, it doesn't work, then please, you have to like come out of the relationship. Like just carry your bag and walk your way. Okay? Another one is abuse of any sort. This one, any kind of abuse at all, please. Be it physical abuse, that one's safe. Me, I cannot even stand it safe or before. Emotional abuse, please just walk away. Financial abuse, I mean, there are some relationships that people are in these days and I don't understand. The girl is being financially abused. The guy is being financially abused. I want Ferrari. I want Gucci. I want Chanel. It's not like these things are not nice. It's not like these things are not good. But you just you just milking the guy dry. And then for the guys, you now be like, oh, you're expecting a paycheck and blah 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 and this da 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 da. And she keeps giving you money and money and money. And then I mean, that's financial abuse as far as I'm concerned. At least as far as I'm concerned. Emotional abuse. This person is trying to reach out to you. You're like, I'm not in the mood to talk. Who is in the mood to talk? Please, stop that. It's, it's childishness. I mean, people that are grown up and are in a relationship, they communicate and they do so properly. And even if you're not in the mood to talk, even if you don't feel like talking to me, I mean, you can... Pass on that message in a very respectful, calm, and still sweet manner. And the person will understand. And the person will be like, oh, yeah, let's just give him some space. Let's just give her some space. I mean, that's what grown-ups do. We are grown-ups, matured people. That's how they behave. Physical abuse, let's not even go there anyway. Me, I will not support it. I don't support it, so... Yes, I've never been physically abused, but I see that these things happen. I see it on the internet. I see it everywhere. And I'm like, I don't understand. How do these people survive? And then you think it's love. Some people are so ignorant. They think it's love. And then he begs you. And then you go back. I mean, hey. And then some people end up, some really sad and gory stories I see online these days. And I mean... The lady ends up dying. The guy ends up dying. What is that? Please, leave that relationship. In, in fact, once you notice it, please, even with mouths that are busy, that are running you down, talking you down, making you feel like you're nothing, you don't, you don't worth anything, please, carry your bags and go. It's time to leave. 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 Yes, leave. Another point, and the very last point for me, yes, this this point sums up all the points I've been trying to make. All of those things that happened, it just God telling you to leave. Hmm? Now, 
God clearly telling you to leave, right? You come to God in prayers. Oh, Father, I so love this person. I feel like we are going to be good together. I feel like this is everything is just feeling. I just feel like I just love him. And and God just looks at you. And after you finish talking, he tells you, leave. And you'll be like, oh, God, please, can you now look at this side? Can you think about it? God is not thinking about it because he has seen the future and he knows that it's not going to be good for you. And he's telling you to leave and he's still telling you to think about it. Leave, my dear. My dear brother, leave. My dear sister, girl, guy, leave. Leave the relationship. In my own case, it was a clear-cut case of... <sighs> I've heard you. Anything you like, go ahead and do. As soon as I heard that, <laughs> nobody needed to tell me to carry my bags and walk away. I carried my bags and I left. And guys, I can tell you, not because um the anybody is bad though, not because anybody is bad. Mm -mm. Far from it. It is just because God sees the future and He knows the best for us. Okay, so with these few points of mind, I don't know if I'm doing a debate now. With these few points of mind, I hope I have been able to convince you beyond reasonable doubts that when you see one or two of these signs, you should take a step back, evaluate it, and be sure that you want to carry on or you should just totally leave the relationship. Yes, that is what I have to say. And um, like I said, the formula that worked for me it might not be the formula that is working for another person. In some cases, in some relationship cases, the the scenario is quite different. What you're experiencing is different. And the reasons for your living or wanting to leave or wanting to take a step back and evaluate might be different. So, yes, we all have different views and different um, points of views about these things. So, I just hope I've been able to help one or two persons out there. Please... See, for the sake of your peace, for the sake of your future and your happiness, just do what God asks you to do. I mean, for the sake of your peace of mind, okay? I love you all and thank you so much for sticking with me. Please do also subscribe if you at this point are not subscribed yet. And turn on the notification bell icon so that you can get notified whenever I post new videos. Thank you so much for coming back to my old and returning subscribers. Till I come your way next time, from me to you is bye-bye.